welcome to another Biology Bites podcast. Today, we will be covering lipids from the Biological Molecules chapter of the A-Level syllabus. Our guest for this week's show is Anna. Hi, Anna. Hi. So what's a lipid? Lipids are a group of substances that, like carbohydrates, are made up of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. The difference is that lipids have a much higher proportion of hydrogen than carbohydrates. So some examples of lipids would be fats and oils? Exactly. Fats tend to be solid at room temperature and oils tend to be liquid. Animals typically produce fats and the plants produce oils. Is there more than one type of fat? Uh, yes, there's two types, saturated and unsaturated. A saturated fat is one in which the fatty acids all contain as much hydrogen as possible. Also, the bonds between the atoms will all be single. An unsaturated fat has carbon-to-carbon double bonds which form a kink in the chain. And those fats are on food labels? Exactly. That's because eating f- foods like with too much saturated fat can increase the cholesterol level in blood, which can increase the risk of developing heart disease. This is a topic that we touch on in Chapter 10. Isn't a triglyceride a lipid as well? Yes, a triglyceride is a type of lipid made from one molecule of glycerol with three fatty acids attached to it. Remember that tri refers to three fatty acids and glycerides refers to the glycerol molecule. But how is a triglyceride formed from glycerol and three fatty acids? A reaction called a condensation reaction occurs between the acid group of fatty acid molecule and one of the OH hydroxyl groups of the glycerol molecule, forming a covalent bond. A water molecule will also be produced. What would you call the new bond that is formed? It's called nester bond, and the breaking of this bond will be a hydrolysis reaction. Triglycerides sound a bit like phospholipids from the last module on cell membranes. Exactly. That's because a phospholipid has the same structure as a triglyceride, except one of the fatty acid molecules is replaced by a phosphate group. The tails are hydrophobic and the heads are hydrophilic. Perfect. And they're hydrophilic because the phosphate group has a negative electrical charge on it, which is attracted to the slightly positive electrical charge on the hydrogen atoms in the water molecule. Is there another type of lipid that we need to know about? Yes, the last one we need to discuss is cholesterol. Isn't that found in cell membranes? Yes, the cholesterol helps to regulate the fluidity and strength of the membrane. It's also used to make other things such as steroids. Examples of steroids include testosterone and oestrogen. What kind of structure does cholesterol have, then? It's a small molecule made from four carbon base rings. Ah, OK. Well, this concludes our podcast for today. We hope you found this helpful. Don't forget to check out more Biology Bites podcasts on the blog. Stay tuned!